या ओ गुड एंड एंटीजन हैज बीन वेरी प्रॉपरली फिट इन टू टी सी आर इमीजिएटली टी सेल विल बिकम हैप्पी ओके टी सेल टी सेल फील द एंटीजन अगेंस्ट विच आई वॉज प्रोग्रामड दैट एंटीजन इज देयर इवेंचुअली बिकॉज दिस टी सेल्स टी सी आर टी सेल रिसेप्टर इज प्रॉपरली लोडेड विद एंटीजन इट्स इमीजिएट कंसर्न इज दैट इट शुड चेक दैट एंटीजन केम विद प्रोसेसिंग आर without processing so t cell should have some mechanism to check the presence of which molecule class 2 molecule t cell bring another yes and this molecule of the t cell could check the presence of class 2 molecule now there are antigen recognizing unit antigen recognizing molecule on the t cell surface and there is class 2 molecule recognizing molecule this molecule is called tcr and this molecule is called cd4 this is called cd4 let me tell you thank you you just sit there let me tell you that yes suppose this was the lymphocyte and on this lymphocyte antigens were fitting into this so what is this t c r and then this was expressing one more molecule which could recognize the presence of class 2 and this molecule is called cd4 now you may be thinking why it is called cd4 actually doctors in their early experiments they were they discovered the different clusters of t cells had different functions different clusters of t cells had different function and they came to know different clusters of t cell express different surface molecules so they designated the clusters of the lymphocyte or different clusters of lymphocyte and other cells according to the proteins expressed on the surface so for example the protein which was present on cluster number 1 they call that this cluster has cluster designation cd1 protein then another cluster of cell had cd2 protein in this way on different clusters of cell they found different special surface proteins and they call them cluster designating proteins is that right in the same way in some lymphocyte they found a protein and at that time in the laboratory they labeled that protein as cluster designation protein number 4 they never knew anything else about this protein now we know that cd4 protein is present on the surface of the lymphocyte to recognize the presence of class 2 molecule they are class 2 sensors mhc class 2 sensors now listen again tcr is a antigen sensor cd4 r yes please class 2 sensor is that right those both sensors should be fully satisfied if both sensors are fully satisfied only then both of them will stimulate another group of protein and this protein will give signals and that signal will go to the nucleus of they will send the molecular signal to the nucleus of lymphocyte what signals will go to the lymphocytes nucleus they will tell the nuclear machinery that the antigens against which our cell was programmed that antigen is there at the door and it is properly processed with class 2 molecule let's start building some immune response it means some bacteria in the body and we are programmed to react some response and or orchestrate some response against that particular bacteria so there were many lymphocytes let's suppose only this lymphocyte could recognize the antigen star antigen do you think all of the lymphocytes will be selected for action or only one will be selected for action only, only this will be selected for the action because macrophage may go to others but others will not others tcr will not interact with the antigen so it means there are five clones of lymphocytes 
and antigen has only selected one clone. So macrophage bring the antigen with proper processing with class 2 molecule and present the anti processed antigen to many many lymphocytes eventually one clone of lymphocyte is selected for the action. You understand which clone is selected where TCR can accept the antigen. Is that right? This process is called clonal selection. This process is called clonal selection. Is that right? Now, clonal, sele clonal selection of the T cell has been done. A T lymphocyte has been recognized. Let's suppose these were 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Out of that, this was selected. Now, what will happen? This will give signal to the nucleus that happy news, the antigen with proper processing is at our door and let's get ready for the action. We'll see what is the action. Is that right? Now, actually when message is going to the cellular headquarter, you know it's a new relationship developing. You want to activate this lymphocyte. Is that right? If you really want to make someone happy, you want to activate someone, you will take the gift to the person and gift should be properly presented or just thrown? Properly presented. So macrophage has brought the gift of antigen with proper presentation and gift has been accepted by the T lymphocyte and also happy with the presentation we have with class 2. Now macrophage has to do some more thing. It's not enough that you just give a properly processed gift. You have to talk to the cell. Macrophage meanwhile, once they come into touch with the cell and this molecular interaction is going on, macrophage start releasing another group of molecules. Okay, just like that, you are trying to talk to a girl. You give her a gift. You are, you are giving her a gift. And what is this? And properly presented. And she is happy, she accepted the gift, liked the gift, happy with the presentation and she give message to her parents that there is someone important around. <laughs> right? Probably I am predetermined and pre-programmed by God for this person. <laughs> and if person remains shut up all the time, person remains like this, do you think this will be activated? No. Person will talk, molecular talking. So what will happen? After this initial selection process, Macrophage is, you know, very, very clever cell. It will start releasing some mo other molecules, which will further stimulate lymphocyte. And it is ready to stim be stimulated. It is having its receptor. This is communication between the two white cells. This is a communicating molecule between the two white, white cells. White cells are called leukocyte. So, this is a molecule which is intercommunicating molecule between two leukocytes. This is called interleukin. And in our discussion, you see it is the number one interleukin appearing. We call it interleukin 1. So technically we will say that once the macrophage has successfully presented the antigen to the proper T cells, then macrophage start releasing what? Interleukin 1 molecule. Interleukin 1 molecule stimulate the receptor for interleukin 1 which is present on lymphocyte surface and this receptor also gives signal to the headquarter. 